everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here then hi my name is hunter and it is so nice to meet you in today's video we're gonna be talking about water the beautiful thing that sustains life water um let me fix my necklace okay here we go so uh we're talking about water water is a really important part of life so i thought we'd talk about some facts what i've learned about drinking water and of course the tips um what you really came here for how to drink more water so um before we get started if you want to go ahead and subscribe you can do so down below and you can also follow me on instagram if you'd like because that would be pretty cool um so i guess without further ado let's just get started so the first thing i'm doing is giving you guys some facts about water i have um written some stuff down on my notebook um so first 70 percent excuse me 66 percent of the human body is made up of water and 70% of our brains are made up of water so obviously water is important to our bodies so it's important to put water back into our bodies as well um, water is also important because it regulates the temperature of the earth which makes it or keeps it from getting too hot outside um, and it also helps to maintain your bodily fluids um, it also energizes your muscles so if you are working out or you're doing something it helps you to feel more energized throughout the day um, and I guess that's why it makes you feel more awake in the day hydration is also good because it prevents excess fluid loss which is and that's good for your hair your skin and your nails and all that um, so think about this so your skin does better when you're not losing water think about that when your skin's dry I don't know it's just not good for it <laughs> and it also helps your kidneys it is the best kind of cleanse that your body could ever do so let's just move on to what I have learned about drinking more water um, at the beginning of this month I decided that I wanted to consume at least 64 ounces of water a day just for you know I don't know for hydration purposes I don't know so um, with having drunk water so much throughout the day I wanted to share with you guys what I've learned so the first thing that I've noticed is that my skin overall looks better like a hundred times um, this past weekend I had a three-day weekend I took Friday off and then it was Friday Saturday Sunday and because I wasn't at work I didn't drink as much water and it was a little bit harder for me to keep up with that and so I did notice that my acne came back my hormonal acne has been so chill recently it's been so good even when I had my period my skin was looking good like it was looking really good and I noticed that it didn't feel as dehydrated it just overall my skin was so much better and then the moment I stopped drinking water this happens so uh, moral of the story is it's been really good for my skin my skin has been thriving so next is a pretty obvious one is that I've been way more hydrated so I know that's like I said obvious because a lot of people just drink water to stay hydrated wow that's fabulous um, I have had a really bad habit in the past of getting dehydrated to the point of being sick um, I don't know if you know this but you can throw up when you get dehydrated um, I guess that's why people when they drink a lot of alcohol they throw up is because they're dehydrated and that's not good for you so um, I know that when I've been on vacation in the past if I've spent a lot of time on the beach or anything like that I would always throw up at least once a year at the beach until I realized what was going on it's because I was dehydrated so I made a conscious effort to drink more water when I was on the beach whenever I was at the pool anything like that because I want to be getting that fluid back into my body because the Sun was just taking up all of my hydration and when you spend a lot of time in the water it's really hard to tell that you aren't drinking as much water because you know if you're in the water a lot then you're cooled down and you don't think oh I'm parched because I'm so hot that kind of thing so definitely make sure that you're consuming your fluids while you are in the Sun now it's finally time to get into what you came here for and it is how to drink more water some tips and tricks that I have so I'm gonna consult the list so first is to get a cute cup or water bottle if you have a cup or a water bottle that you enjoy carrying around that you think is cute that you think people will compliment you on then you're more likely to carry it around with you I have been loving these cups from Starbucks this was a five set of five but the clear ones that come from Starbucks they literally cost three dollars it comes with a straw a lid and the cup and it's so much easier to drink water when you have a cup that you can carry around that's easy to fill up um, things like that so because I sit at a desk all day this is really nice to have but any cup that's cute that has a lid a straw a cup you know it's just easy to fill up and when you have a cute cup like this it kind of motivates you because you want to use it because you just paid money for it you know you know anyway next 
for me sipping is a whole lot easier than like guzzling my water I guess so another reason to have a cup like this is to have the straw uh, this reusable straw is so nice I love having reusable straws I always find that I drink way more water whenever I have a straw because it's easier for me to sip slowly over time than it is for me to pick up my bottle and hold it and then have it like gushing all over my face so I've just found that it's easier to consume more over time than it is for me to just like chug it um, um, but yeah so I have found that having a straw is really really beneficial for me and my water intake. My next tip is to download a water tracker or make yourself a physical water tracker. So if you are a journaler or something like that, then if you have it in front of your face where you can like color in the bubbles every single day, then you know it's like a little competition for yourself to be able to see how much water you're consuming every day. And if you reach your goal every day, then you have the whole month completely filled up and it looks really good and it's really pretty. And then that's something to be proud of. Um, and then something else that I would recommend is just getting a water app. Um, mine is called, what is it called? I don't even know what it's called. Let me look at it. Mine is called My Water, and right now I am at 94% for the day. I have had 60 out of 64 ounces of water, and all you do is add drink, and then you select water, and then you select how much you have. Um, this holds 24 ounces, and then I add ice to it, so usually it's about 20 ounces a cup. I mean, 20 ounces a cup. Um, so I just add 20 ounces, and then that's how I do it. Or you could do um, a custom drink, and you can just say it's like 25 ounces if that's how much your cup is, or something like that. You can also add water from coffee or tea or other drinks but you have to pay for those um, and then there's also ads there's fun facts about water but this is really all I do and it does give me a reminder if I haven't logged any water for a while then it will remind me to have some so that's really nice to have as well because reminders we all need them sometimes always really nice to see the percentage as well because then it's like you can visually see how much you've had and how close you are to your goal Next is to drink it cold. I don't know about you guys, but I drink a lot faster whenever my drinks are cold. It always tastes better. Um, I don't know, I just think that drinks taste better cold, um, and so it helps me to drink it faster. So I will always make sure that I add ice to my cup, and then it will be easier to drink it later. And then once the ice melts, I can drink more of that as well. And my last tip is to drink a whole glass before your meal. Not only is this good for, um, like filling you up, keeping you from overeating, but it's also good because if you eat three meals a day and you have a whole cup every single meal, even if it's just an eight ounce glass, which is like really little, it's really not that hard to have eight ounces of water before every single meal. That's already 24 ounces right there and you're already a third of the way and you've hardly done anything. You've only drunk at your meals. And so if you incorporate meals or drinks in between, so say you have a drink at water, a drink at water a drink at breakfast and then you have a drink in between breakfast and lunch and then you have one before I mean then you have one before you eat lunch and then one before lunch and dinner and then you have one at dinner and then you have one after dinner and then one right before bed that's like all of your days worth and this holds 24 ounces of water I have one of these before I eat breakfast and then I have two of these before lunch and then I have one after lunch like that is in so that is really all I have for you today. If you have any other tips for how to drink more water or just how to enjoy drinking water, how to make water taste better without adding anything that's like not good for you, um, please leave them down below in the comments so that I can check them out and so everybody else can check them out as well. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.